Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Megara, or hi, if you're new. I'm currently watching the snow outside because I just wanted to settle a little bit so I get to build a little snowman. It's all about ten life, but. So I'm just gonna put some stuff on my face, kind of a little chit chat, be a bit creative because I haven't, I don't wear bright makeup to work anymore and I really want to just kind of get some stuff on my face, make it nice and bright and colorful and that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna get started. So for primer, I've got, I don't think it's actually a primer. It is the Figs and Rouge Wonder Love Charm. It is a glow elixir. It is distinctive brightening and it's glowy, it's revitalizing, it's smoothing, it's hydrating. Also, if you're wondering about why I read so badly, I am dyslexic. So I'm just gonna put some drops of this stuff on my face. I have used this a few times this week and it doesn't make me look as much like the Tin Man as it looks like it's going to right now. I think I got this in a glossy box. So I'm just gonna run this, rub this in with my fingers. I can't remember, I think it was Glossy Box or one of those type of things. But I just find it's a really nice kind of a glowy primer, which is what I need sometimes. So for foundation, I've got the Maybelline Dream Liquid Radiance. Um, I'm one of the few people of my age group who didn't um, wear Dream Matte Mousse. You can tell it's new because I can't even get it in the packaging. It's got this lovely seal on it. I don't appreciate these seals. I understand why they're there, I just don't appreciate them. So I'm gonna get my nice big mirror and put a couple of pumps there. I'm just going to blend this in with my sponge. Also, it's definitely a more medium coverage foundation. I'm going to add a little bit more just to kind of add a bit more on the human a bit. Is that better? I wonder if this is a little bit too pale for me at the moment, but... Oh well, I seem to have managed to cling on to my summer tan a bit longer than I expected. Which is nice, but it's also very strange to me because even though I've got kind of warm undertoning skin, I don't generally tan that much, but I also don't generally leave the house that much at the same time. And I've got foundation on my viewfinder. You knew it. This is what it's looking like. It's definitely glowy. I do like it so far, but I don't know how much of this glow is from the foundation and how much is from like, and the primer. So for concealer, for concealer I'm going to be using the Ordinary colour, the Ordinary Colours concealer which is apparently high coverage. I can agree that it is high coverage. So I'm going to add a little bit under my eyes, my forehead, just on my nose and my little chin. So I have a teeny tiny chin. That's blended in so nicely. I mean, I know my skin is not flawless, but it does look pretty good at the moment from where I'm sitting. Like, it's all one colour, which is nice. It's definitely got coverage. And now I'm probably going to be doing something stupid. I'm going to do something stupid and add some cream contour because I want to be a bit extra. And it's not often I have time to do extra at the moment so I'm gonna get a bit, a bit on my brush probably way too much and I'm gonna use a tiny little touch just down my nose and really cock it up so give me two minutes so I'm just going over with my sponge just to kind of make sure everything's all blended in. Oh, it's really snowing and it's, it's not gonna settle. <laughs> Sad times. So for powder, I need my little, my little puffy thing. Oh, that was a big clump of snow. I'm gonna use my little Laura Mercier setting powder. Um, Megan Dixon, also known as Shopaholic Meg, or used to be known as Shopaholic Meg. She's really into her fashion. And I asked her, for recommendations and she suggested that I really need to try all of this stuff and I'm not gonna lie I've already got through one tub of this last year in 2020 I just didn't repurchase it because I had another one in the back of the cupboard and I really do like this setting powder I just don't like how small the mini tubs are but they are great for traveling oh it's really coming down it makes me really sad that the snow's not gonna settle because it's just a look because we had lots so much rain last night I shouldn't have settled down my eyelids you idiot, Meg. 
Hopefully that's everything set down. So I'm going to use some bronzer, which I'm going to use my Physicians Formula, because I haven't used this in so long. I'm just going to get my little bronzing brush, swirl it around. I get off any excess in the lid. You can go over there. Now I just like to use bronzer, even if I do use cream contour, just to warm up my face a little bit more. Because, you know, I am very pale and I don't want to be mistaken for Casper that often. I don't mind it occasionally, but... Okay, you can still see the trio of spots around here that I can still see, but that's just me being me and me being picky and me picking holes in my appearance because what girl isn't good at that? Oh, it's so pretty. So for blush, I have the Kiko Green Me Blush in 101 Coral View. It looks like this. It is more of a sparkly brush, blush, but it's not my normal thing because I bought this online and didn't realize it was quite this they're glowy but I don't mind anymore it wasn't my thing at the time but sometimes a bit of glow can really hide your flaws now I'm going to quickly do my brows because there's nothing interesting about my eyebrows they need a good pluck and I can't bother to do it so see you in a minute so today I'm going to be using Carnival of Tahiti volume 3 or Carnival palette level, level, volume 3 this is what it looks like I'm sure half the internet knows what it is the other half just doesn't care what it is and I just, I just love the colours, I just wanted to be some, do something really bright and colourful and creative because I haven't reached that point in my new job where I feel comfortable doing that yet. I'm going to get my little mirror, so I'm going to use this little mirror just to see what I'm doing so it doesn't take up the entire um, camera lens. I'm going to make sure my P. Louise base is nice and set down and I'm going to go in with Reef, which is this tealy turquoisey colour just here. And I get this on a nice flat brush, like this, and I'm going to really press it into my crease, my inner corner crease. Just going to really pack that in and bring it up a little bit just so then it's nice, it's bright, it's there, you're not going to miss this really are you? I've also found the smaller brush you use, the more pigmented you can pack pigment you can pack on, the more um, detail you can get in there. So I'm going to try and make this as even between the two as possible. Then next I'm going to go with the colour underneath which is called Lagoon, this bright blue down here. On the same brush just going to wipe it off. And I'm going to put that wrong mirror Meg, wrong mirror. I'm just going to put that just in here. Get into all my little eye creases and blend it in with that that shade because I can always go back in with that original colour later I just want to really get in get that colour set down so I'm going to go with a bit more of that first colour that reef colour just to lay over the top of that um, lagoon shade to really blend them in because otherwise one ends up overpowering the other next I'm going to go in with the deep which is this dark blue down in the corner I'm going to run this quite a way along mainly just packing it in where I need it. So then it's looking like this, nice bright blue. And I'm going to use this blackberry colour down in the corner next to the black. It's not quite black, it's just very dark purple. I'm just going to put this in the outer corner, kind of make it my outer corner shade. And start the shape of the wing. Start, because it's not going to be the shape, not going to be the wing. It's just kind of a layout of what's going to be there. You see it's got a nice kind of sharp shape to it. Let's see if I can recreate that with a second eye. Knowing me, probably not. The snow's beginning to settle. Could make getting to work tomorrow fun, but... I have jokes about that at the moment. Okay, so I've come a bit too far up with that. So I'm going to do something potentially very stupid. Take a bit of concealer. Are you my concealer brush? Yes, you are. And just carve out where I don't want this to be. Okay, this side is definitely going better of the two. And then I'm going to get a nice clean brush. 
I need to stop closing that. And I'm going to go in with Tahiti, which is this pink colour just here, up at the top, between the two really pink colours. I'm just going to use that to blend out the edges of that wing. Oh, do I want this brush? Oh no, I'm going to use the other brush. It's just a angled flat brush, and I'm going to use the same colour. I'm going to use a bit of magenta, this pink just above the purple that I used before. The kind of intermediate of the two, because I think Tahiti is just a little bit too light. There we go, that's what I was after. So, this side's looking much better than this side, let's not talk about this one, this is a mess. So, next I'm going to run a bit more of that kind of magenta colour just along my lower lash line. I've got a little pencil brush for that. And that just... Right on the outer corner. I'm going to add a bit of black grey into that too. That really deep purple. Like this. Then I'm going to go in with chilli pepper, this red right at the bottom down here. I'm going to put that right in the middle and blend that into the pinky purple as well. Then I'm going to use mango, this orange just at the top. A really, really bright orange. And finally, I'm going to go with yellow, this bright kind of orangey yellow just here. And that's going to go right on the inner corner, just merge all those colours together. And finally, with this brush, I'm going to go in with a bit of key lime, which is this greeny yellow in the corner. Oh, bright green. Just to really blend all of these colours together and make my little rainbow make sense. Now I'm going to get, get a nice clean brush like this. And I'm just going to go around the edges to really buff everything out. And I'm going to go along the bottom as well, just because that is a very, very harsh line at the moment. Yes, so now it doesn't look as much of a harsh red line. I'm going to add a bit more yellow along it as well, just because it is very, very harsh at the moment. Mm. Now I'm going to use a bit of vanilla, which is this shade here, on my finger. Like this. Because it's such a, so many of these colours in this palette, especially the shimmers, are just beautiful. Put this right on my inner corner, well, the inner half portion of my eye. And I'm going to use a bit of Blue Moon, which is this purpley bluey colour down here. It's one of my favourite colours in this entire palette. I put this towards the centre of my lid, blending it in with that first shimmer. And a bit of Starlight, which is this stunning purple. Now I'm going to go quickly add some mascara, some eyeliner, and I'll be back with you for lips and highlighter. So I just stuck some nice fluffy lashes on. These are the Lucy Lou lashes. These ones. In the shade, in the style Habibi. They're just nice and fluttery and kind of big. Emphasis in the outer corner, kind of gradual. So for highlighter, I've got the Ofra X Nikki Tutorials Glazed Donut Highlighter. This is in the old packaging so you can tell how old this is. I found this in the back of my cupboard. Because I generally stick to the same highlighters, uh, I decided I can't be bothered with that anymore and I'm gonna whack out some really bright glowy old school ones like this. Is it a bit much? Possibly. Do I really mind? No, not really. I really need to tidy up in here but I also can't be bothered right now. So I'm get a little bit of that on a pencil brush. I'm just going to put that in the inner corner. There's a little tap tap here and there. And on my brow bone to really highlight that. And for the lipstick I have got the Kiko Milano Unlimited Silo Lipstick in 01 which is just a nice nude. So I'm going to stick this on. I'm going to shut that highlight before I get it all over my bed. These are so comfortable and they just don't transfer. I mean, it's a little bit pink, but I don't mind. I can rock it. So this is the finished look. I mean, I hope you like it. I feel very glowy and bright and colourful and the way I, lo I like to be. 
If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed, and I'll see you soon for another lovely video, which may be a foundation Friday, maybe something else, but I'm quite honestly feeling lovely and colourful, and this is how I just love to be. Bye!